Welcome to Tantrum House. I'm Kevin Delp. And I'm Melissa Delp. And today we are looking at Tesla vs. Edison Duel. It's a two-player game designed by Dirk Niemeyer with J.R. Honeycutt and is published by Artana. This game takes about 20 to 30 minutes to play and is coming to Kickstarter this April. In Tesla vs. Edison Duel, it is a separate game from Tesla vs. Edison War of Currents. It has a similar style and a similar theme, but it is definitely separate. It's kind of like Seven Wonders and Seven Wonders Duel, how they are similar, mm-hmm. but they're different games. In this game, each player takes on the role of a famous inventor, and there are several inventors to choose from. The only thing is that one player has to specialize in DC power, and then the other player in AC power. The components for the game have been updated since we've received the prototype. The images on the Kickstarter page are more current than these. The game is mostly cards. There are stock shares, project cards, technology cards, assistant cards, region cards, inventor cards. Each player will play as one of the one of eight famous inventors. There's also a public relations track and several markers. There are two ways to win the game. Either you control two of the three regions by the end of the third round, or you satisfy your instant win condition at the end of any round. Now, each inventor has a different win condition, so there's going to be a lot of replayability in the game. To do most of your actions, you have to use assistant cards. At the beginning of each round, you'll draft three assistants. Each one has two actions listed on the card. When you play the assistant, you can perform the actions in any order or choose not to perform one or both actions. The actions are increasing your PR rating, which is good since you get a free action when you reach multiples of three on the track. Another one is claiming a project for a region, acquiring stock in a minor company, but you have to have the matching technology card. You can steal a technology card by taking the advance in technology action. The final action lets you add a no AC or DC marker to a region or it lets you flip one of the markers to the other side. The marker blocks the player with that type of power from claiming projects in that region. The three regions you're trying to control are New England, New York, and Out West. To gain control, you want to claim projects in those regions and buy stock from minor companies in those regions. Everything's color-coded, so it's pretty easy to see what goes with what. The projects and stocks are worth certain point values. At the end of each round, you'll total each player's point value to see who controls the region. The person in control gains a reward. New England allows you to go up two on the public relations track. New York lets you acquire a stock. And Out West gives you a new project. You can ignore normal restrictions when you take a reward. The other cool thing is that you resolve control in order starting with New England. So the reward you get from an earlier region could tip control in your favor for another region. You have a lot of decisions to make in this game, but it still moves pretty fast. And those actions are determined by the assistant cards that you get. So the draft at the beginning of the game is pretty important. And if you don't like your assistants, that's okay. Just move up on that PR track to get those free ones. I like how the instant win conditions really add some tension to the game. You can't ever completely ignore them, or at least you shouldn't ignore them if you want to win. The threat of that win condition will really drive your strategy and how you make decisions during the game. Do you go like really strong for that win condition? Or do you kind of like play around and make it look like you're trying to hit the win condition to try to force the other player to block you? How much time and energy should you spend you know, blocking the other players' win conditions. Those are all things you need to think about. So we played with the inventors Tesla and Edison in our game and really struggled for control of New York. Now, the game comes with other inventors, and I am pretty sure that with those other inventors, the dynamics will change and add a lot of replayability uh, to this game. And so will um, the different uh, project cards and the different assistant cards. Yeah, if you're interested in two-player games that are quick but also give you lots of meaningful decisions, then I definitely recommend you checking out Tesla vs. Edison Duel. 
And if you like history and the time period it's set in, then that's a bonus too. And I think two player games are like super hot right now. Uh, you have Seven Wonders Duel, which is doing very well. Um, I think later this year, Codenames Duet is releasing. And this is just another great game. So thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to our channel.